victim in the fire at a Sheboygan apartment complex identified tonight as Deborah Marsh of Sheboygan. 55 others are without a home tonight. Some of those impacted are sleeping in a middle school gymnasium while the Red Cross works to help them. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel has more from Sheboygan. The gym here at Farnsworth Middle School is serving two purposes. This side, a multi-agency resource center, helping people get on their feet again. Behind the curtain is sleeping quarters for those impacted. 19 fire victims are living in this gym, but today all 55 people displaced are receiving help to recover. Multiple agencies stepping in to find those affected a new place to live, even taking it a step further, helping them find childcare and jobs. But with so many people in need of a place to stay, it's a struggle to find enough rooms. A lot of the people that we've seen are very low income. So as you can imagine, the low income housing um, or the subsidized housing in Sheboygan is practically full, shelters are full, um, and there's very little um, housing available for those who with limited income. Housing specialists reaching out to Manitowoc County to help place people into homes. The Red Cross says they will take care of those in need for as long as it takes. Approximately 20 different agencies came together helping those in need today. In Sheboygan, keeping you connected, Raquel Amell, NBC 26.